as people observed the man strolling with his six German shepherds. All without leashes. They marveled at the remarkable obedience displayed by the dogs. Some speculated that the man might be coercing them into submission. But their perspective shifted dramatically upon discovering his secret. When Augusto de Oliveira was first spotted on the streets of Hyannis, Massachusetts, bystanders were captivated. Here was a young man in his twenties, leading a tightly knit group of German shepherds. It was evident from the outset that the dogs operated as a cohesive unit, showcasing exceptional discipline. At the core of this canine ensemble was Augusto, their proud owner evidently revered as the pack's leader. The display of collective strength and unwavering obedience was awe-inspiring and drew the attention of many onlookers. As people tried to fathom how Augusto achieved such results, the situation became increasingly perplexing. Even fellow dog trainers and animal experts found it challenging to comprehend how these dogs moved in perfect unison, especially considering the absence of leashes. Upon closer inspection, those who dared to approach the pack made an astounding discovery. None of the German shepherds wore leashes. Yet they moved as if connected by invisible cords. Akin to a sled dog team, each dog understood its place and seamlessly followed Augusto's vocal commands. The dogs exhibited military-like discipline. With no skirmishes for dominance and an indifference to the barks of other dogs in the vicinity. They remained focused solely on their pack and their leader. As Augusto and his dogs embarked on their daily walks through the streets and parks of Hyannis. People couldn't help but stare in admiration at this extraordinary display of unity and obedience. Some onlookers were so impressed by the extraordinary behavior that they often approached Augusto requesting to take a picture with him and his dogs. With a single command, Augusto could bring his dogs to an abrupt halt and have them pose for a picture. Once the fans were satisfied, he would give a whistle, and the dogs would seamlessly fall back into line, each maintaining its specific position behind his legs. Swiftly, this young man and his pack became the talk of the town. Whispers circulated, and gossip soon led to the belief that something more sinister was at play. Some neighbors and observers grew suspicious of the man who seemed to surround himself only with his dogs. Socially, Augusto appeared awkward, with very few people visiting his house, and he gave off the impression of having no human friends. In the evenings, Self-appointed investigators would spend hours outside his apartment, peering through the curtains and listening for any clue that might explain how such a seemingly meek man commanded the obedience of these fierce dogs. There were suspicions of mistreatment, and some even went through his trash cans in an attempt to expose him. One particularly nosy neighbor, a woman dedicated to rescuing stray animals, was convinced that Augusto used electric shock collars to enforce obedience in his dogs. She rallied support around the neighborhood, aiming to petition the authorities to investigate this alleged abusive dog owner. Augusto could have dispelled these doubts by explaining his training methods. But whenever questioned, he remained secretive. Unintentionally, his reluctance to share contributed to the suspicions. At most, he disclosed that it took immense devotion and patience to refine his methods to the point where he could walk his dogs in public without leashes. To be fair, everyone knew this was true. Acknowledging that he had dedicated his life to becoming an expert dog trainer, Augusto had grown up with German Shepherds, a herding breed known for their courage and loyalty. These dogs possessed a strong inclination for guarding what they deemed precious, and they wouldn't hesitate to put their lives on the line to defend their loved ones. It was evident to anyone that this pack of dogs would protect Augusto with unwavering loyalty. However, 
This blind devotion eventually became the focal point that prompted the police to investigate an elaborate complaint of potential animal abuse. In the minds of some, there was skepticism that these dogs were simply obedient out of respect for Augusto. Instead, they suspected sinister methods of torture to compel such unwavering obedience. Had nosy neighbors and uninformed citizens taken the time to do their homework? This intrusion of privacy could have been easily avoided despite making a life for himself in Massachusetts. Augusto had grown up in Brazil. Surrounded by German shepherds. As a boy. He had shown a keen interest in animal behavior. Spending hours among the dogs on a Brazilian farm. Almost by chance. He discovered a natural ability to influence their behavior, when police officers entered his apartment. They were taken aback by what they saw. Augusto and his canines were leading an unconventional lifestyle. There were no signs of dog kennels or pens, instead. Griffin, Harmony, Jenna, Priscilla, Hannah, and Savannah all shared a bed with Augusto. No couch or carpet was off-limits for Augusto's companions and friends. This was a man who clearly lived and breathed for dogs. In their quest for clues, the police sought the help of animal experts who closely observed Augusto for a few days. They scrutinized his every action and thoroughly inspected the apartment. After a brief period, they were ready with their report. The good news was that the police couldn't find any signs of neglect or abuse of the German shepherds. On the contrary, these were animals living in what could be considered dog heaven. The police and animal rescue services appreciated the vigilant members of the public who looked out for the interests of vulnerable dogs. This particular case proved to be a complete false alarm, the dogs owned by Augusto were treated like royalty receiving the best food and care possible. Augusto loved them as if they were his own children. Despite being outraged at the low opinion some had of him, Augusto managed to find a silver lining in this odd situation. Shortly after the investigation, he turned his hobby into a lucrative career in business. Augusto established Griffin Shepherd Kennels. Dedicating his time and efforts to training dogs to be highly disciplined and obedient to their owners. Many owners sent their puppies to Augusto. And within a few weeks, they received well-behaved, fully trained dogs that could easily adapt to various environments. Although he trained all breeds, German Shepherds were his specialty. Augusto closely guarded the secrets to his training methods but was willing to share that spending a lot of time together was crucial. Personally feeding his dogs twice a day, allowing them to sleep with him, and devoting ample time to exercise encouraged them to accept his leadership. Augusto emphasized that when dogs are familiar with the owner's body language and commands and regard them as the leader of the pack. It results in the kind of unity and discipline displayed when he walked with his dogs. Not only could Augusto guide his own six German shepherds untethered through the streets of Hyannis, but he claimed to be able to guide up to 15 unharnessed dogs simultaneously without any accidents. In recent times, he even ventured into the streets of Boston, where his dogs behaved with utmost discipline despite the different environment and added noise. His methods earned him an extraordinary reputation and made him an internet sensation since 2013 when one of his videos went viral. Augusto posed a challenge to viewers, could they approach unleashed German shepherds on a busy street? He invited comments on his training methods, thanking viewers for watching and promising to see them next time. This poor dog is roaming the streets but he doesn't seem to like humans. Although he is neither aggressive nor mean he seems very aloof and has little interest in anything until one day he sees a special man. At this moment, its reaction stunned everyone present. The man lives in an ordinary family in Tennessee. By chance, he meets a stray dog and adopts it. 
The dog was so sweet and docile that the family immediately fell in love with the little guy. Who they named the dog Ritter because he was the smallest puppy in the shelter. After Ritter came to this home, he felt the warmth. He knew that he would no longer have to sleep in the open. And he also had a home of his own. The most important thing is that the family is very good to him, almost giving him all the love he can give him. They lived on the farm. And Ritter had a lot of space to move around freely and walk around the farm. At first, the family always took it with them. A young dog can't know the way and is more playful. They need to ensure its safety. Ritter's life is good and easy. And as he grows older, the family believes he has grown up. Knows where he is. And won't go too far. Ritter's family thought he was safe when he was about three years old and never thought of leaving. But it was a mistake that cost them dearly. One day at noon. When it was time for dinner. The family called Ritter to come for dinner. But he never came, which is really weird because it never misses meal time. Just in case. The family decided to split up to find it. But Ritter wasn't around at all. They searched every nook and cranny. But couldn't even find him. The family members speculated that Ritter must have run away. And now it may be lost. They have been looking for Ritter for several days. But still have nothing, days passed. Weeks. Months. Even years. And slowly they lost hope and they understood that they might never see Ritter again. Dot on the other side. Ritter somehow ran more than 10 kilometers away and began to live on the streets of a community. Surrounded by shops, kind strangers are used to seeing the dog who would give Ritter food while he was wandering the streets. And he always accepted the food gratefully. But never expressed enthusiasm and love to them. Ritter was a stray dog who didn't fit in. He was never aggressive. But he wasn't courteous to strangers either. But even so, everyone in the community knew him. Residents in the community didn't think it was a threat. So they left it alone and just made sure it always had water and food. Then the epidemic broke out. People stopped doing business. They had to work from home. And there was no one around to feed it or take care of it. People in the community are very worried about Ritter's survival. And the city government has received some requests to rescue this stray dog. Ritter was located and taken to the Johnson City Animal Shelter in Washington. At the shelter, he was given a warm bed to sleep in. Plenty of food, water and even the occasional snack. It accepted these politely. But when the shelter people wanted to get close to it, it retreated into its shell and closed itself off. Many stray dogs are scared when they come to the shelter for the first time. They need time to adapt to the new environment. But Ritter is completely different from them. He is never afraid of the staff in the shelter. He treats all the staff politely. But Ritter showed no emotion at the kindness shown by these men. And he had no interest in befriending any of them. It doesn't want to be comforted by the staff. Or touched. As if it just exists and it doesn't matter what they do. And it's not thrilled at all. They wanted Ritter to play with them. Gave him toys and treats. But he was unmoved. His tail never wagged. He had no enthusiasm for anything. He didn't seem to have any fun in his life. It just stayed there by itself. Timid and restrained. Not like a dog at all. After six months in the shelter, things haven't changed. It's been cold. Like the first day the staff brought it here. Ritter still wants nothing to do with them. It was clear that despite their best efforts, they were never able to form an intimate connection with Ritter, but at the same time, he doesn't show any signs of aggression or other behavioral issues that would make him unsuitable for adoption. 
Just because it's not very likable doesn't mean it doesn't deserve a good family. But would anyone want to take in a dog who might never open up, they didn't know. But they needed to give Ritter a chance. So the shelter also posted a photo of Ritter on social media. As is customary. They don't oversell it because they don't want Ritter to be sent back to the shelter one day because he didn't live up to his owner's expectations. So they told the truth on social platforms. Still. The crew wants it to live comfortably and get a forever home. The post stated that Ritter had been at the shelter for six months. But had still not developed a close bond with anyone at the shelter. And it showed a clear willingness to distance itself. The post goes on to say he will accept treats and be polite but he will leave soon after eating. The shelter believes he has been homeless for most of his life and ends with a warning if you want a buddy to cuddle with any time. It may not be the dog you want to choose. Please choose carefully. They really want to find a good family that can make Ritter happy. Happiness sounds abstract and it may be difficult for Ritter. But at least there can be a place for him to be comfortable and relax. Everyone feels sorry for the dog. Its brooding brown eyes seemed filled with endless sadness. The staff did not expect that their social media posts would have a huge impact. With many people asking about Ritter. But one of the most prominent messages stated that the dog might be the one he lost three years ago. Few people remember the dog three years after it disappeared. And there are countless similar ones. So the person in charge of the shelter is very skeptical. They estimate that Ritter is about six years old. This is half of its life. How would this person know it was definitely their dog? Or is it just a hopeful person? Will he be disappointed when he realizes the dog isn't the one he lost, in order to prove that this dog was indeed a lost dog in his family? The man sent many photos of Ritter to the person in charge of the shelter. Many animals had unique marks on their fur, when the person in charge compared these with the markings on the current dogs. They were indeed very similar. And they were really the same dog. But even if it is. What difference does it make, this is a cold dog. They have been separated for three years. And Ritter probably doesn't know or care about this former owner. The shelter directors arranged a time for them to meet. And when the man walked in. They opened Ritter's kennel, Ritter looked up at the man. And it only took a few seconds for the dogs to realize that the man in front of him, was his former owner. It has completely changed. It is no longer as indifferent as before. It wagged its tail. And greeted it enthusiastically. Looking at the long lost master. Ritter even shed tears. The man was also very excited. Hugging Ritter. The staff were all shocked by Ritter's change. It turns out that Ritter has always remembered his family clearly and has been waiting to be reunited with them. And now he can be a happy dog again. And he has returned to his happy home.